Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and we're going to be updating my journal today. The first thing in my journal, if you've been here at all, is doing my NPR challenge reads. I have been doing it from 2013 to 2022 for eye-opening reads. And now we're going to be switching to tales from around the world. I am just adding the last four books from Tales from Around the World. That would be 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And then the bonus 2022 book that became available while I was reading this section. So I am adding all of those books. And then Tales from Around the World is complete. I had a really good time reading these books. None of them are set in the United States or... Even North America, I think. There may be, but I don't think so. Another thing to note is that I went so long in between printing the pictures that I had the wrong settings on the size of the book covers. So these book covers are all just a little bit bigger than what I had before, which kind of drives me crazy. So I may end up reprinting them. I don't know. But definitely going forward, I will make them smaller again so that they have the little border around them because I just really like it. So anyway, these are tales from around the world. Then moving on to family matters, I have read the first three books in here. So 2013, 2014, and 2015. I just recently did a video about these three books. So I will put that up in the cards above and my whole playlist for the NPR challenge will be linked down below. So make sure you check that out. I am excited to see this page starting to fill up and the fact that I only have one more page of NPR books that I that I put in this journal. So once I read a few more rounds of NPR or however I'm going to do that, then I'll be able to make new pages. And that was one of the best parts about this was creating these pages. They were so fun. Moving into the J.D. Robb books, it says one Robb a week because I started out this thing um, expecting to read one book a week from J.D. Robb. I was going to start a new book every Sunday and it worked for a while like that, but it just got to where if I had something else that I had going on, I was having to take the place and like trade out books and do things like that. So I am also having to use new markers because my old markers got misplaced in the move. So if you guys notice that the colors are not the same, it, it's right. You're right. They're not the same. I read no Stephen King books to the Dark Tower. So moving on to Tamara Pierce, I finished three more books and I am getting pretty close to being done. I think I only have like six or seven books left from Tamara Pierce. So I am, I'm excited about it. And at the same time, it's kind of bittersweet. I've been doing this for over a year. And so it's, it's nice. And it's also a little bit sad at the same time. And I have the same kind of thing with Stephen Graham Jones. It's nice and also bittersweet at the same time that I'm getting closer to being finished with his. So I do still have um, probably about 15 things to read from him. Most of them, though, are really short readings. So it shouldn't take me very long. I will definitely be finished with both of these author catalogs by the end of the year. So that is a very fun thing. And also, like I said, it's fun and nice and also a little bit bittersweet to be like caught up and done. But the good thing is both of them are still writing books. So I'm going to be able to keep reading from Stephen Graham Jones and Tamara Pierce. So that's going to do it. That is everything. It's all caught up. It, I had to go back and do two months worth. So hopefully now I'll be able to do it once a month and not have to go back and play catch up so much. But it was a lot of fun. If there's any suggestions or any ideas that you guys have, I would love to hear about them. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.